Hello and welcome to a match day vlog. Not done a match day vlog in donkey's years. Or ever. I can't remember. My room's a mess. Ignore it. There's Big Ben and the sign tapes top from last season. Obviously today, obviously well, time of filming tomorrow's game just so that I don't forget to film the intro before I head off to the match tomorrow is, ov is obviously Hibs versus Dundee United. My match preview is already out on the channel, obviously because it's still going up after the match. And yeah, I gave my score prediction in that video. However, is this little going up after the match? You should have already seen that. I went for a 3 2 Hibs win. I went for Tony Watts going both for the Dundee United because, well, he's going to score a couple of goals. And you'll know by the time you watch this, obviously, because the game will have happened, if that is right or wrong. But I can just see that happening. I wasn't going for Melkerson to score a couple. And I've gone for a Josh Campbell goal as well. Yeah, that's my prediction. 3 2 is my prediction of those goal scorers. Let's get down to the ground, shall we? That is us back from the game now. Ended 1-1. Disappointing not to win, obviously. It means we've probably now got to go to Tynecastle next weekend and get a win if we want to finish in the top six, which ultimately was, I mean, ultimately top six now. We're still in the top six by a point, I believe, at the minute. Um... Well, yeah, we're still in there, but we're still in by a point. I'll have to have a look and see who everyone else plays, who everyone else around us plays next week. But I, I think it's unlikely now with the obviously the Tynecastle game next week. Yeah, we're still a point. We're a point above Ross County and Livingston in seventh and eighth, respectively. Then a further point and. No, that means two ahead of Aberdeen and and St Mirren, who are ninth and tenth. We're a point behind Motherwell and two points behind Dundee United. Hmm. Obviously, had we beaten United today, we'd have gone fourth, which would have been ideal. Which ultimately that didn't happen. And well, you can say, oh, we should have had a penalty for that. Oh, we should have had a penalty there. But it doesn't matter if you don't. Just buff. I don't care how many penalty claims we had today. Or how many times we should have scored. At the end of the day, we scored one goal. A good goal from Harry Clark on his hips debut. I didn't see it. I was I didn't have a great angle of it when I was watching it. Uh, I was seeing any other end of this. I was seeing any other side of the stadium. Yeah, their goal. Though is uh, just poor defensively. You'll have seen. I'll have put a clip of the goal in the in the video, so you'll have you'll have seen the goals. And yeah, I mean, all in all, disappointing. But yeah, I mean, it all comes down to it. All comes down to Tynecastle. 
if we're going to get top six or not. Which is exactly what we didn't want to happen, but unfortunately, it's what is going to happen now. And had we had we won today, would have guaranteed would have guaranteed top six. Just one of those things, though. He said going into these two games, we'd need four points. Obviously, we could still get four points. Who Ross County Livingston have next week? Next week, uh, Scottish Premiership. Can I see all the fixtures, please? Scottish Prem. Next week, Livingston play Motherwell. Oh, okay. Livingston have Motherwell. And Ross County of Aberdeen. Ooh. Okay, so should Motherwell and Aberdeen win? Obviously, Motherwell are above us currently. Obviously, if... I would draw... I mean, a draw would probably be ideal between Motherwell and Livingston. Because that would mean Motherwell would Motherwell would go to forty, Livingston would go to thirty eight, we'd go to forty one. Who do United have? United we Dundee Derby next weekend, okay. Okay. Obviously Dundee are bottom of the league though, so who knows how that's gonna go. But ultimately, yeah. It comes down to us winning at Tyne Castle. Which I'm not confident, but I mean but is I put out a tweet just under Boss Home saying like as much I'm gonna get I'm gonna you know I'm gonna get my tweet. Uh where's Twitter gone? Twitter, please not Twitch, Twitter, there we go. I'm gonna get the exact wording that I used in that tweet. Here now. Would say top six is gone and that we should focus on the cup. But losing a derby is just not an option. Three points and nothing next week, Hibs. I'm on the fucking high base. Come on. That was the tweet that I put out just on the bus on the way home. And ultimately, losing a derby is not an option. So, we will be going for the three points next week. And I will be doing a watch along live on this YouTube channel for that game. So, if you want to see the pain or the elation... Next Saturday at 3 p.m. Tune in. Cause you'll be guaranteed some 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 form of emotion from me from me. Sat in this chair next this time next week. Reflecting on a put either a per Tyne Castle defeat or a fantastic Tyne Castle victory. And then this time in two weeks, well I'll be sat editing a vlog from Hamden. Come on, hype. Come on the high base. Let's fucking go. Anyways, now I've got to go and get my dinner. Probably see to the dog as well. So I'll say thank you for watching this vlog. And I'll see you for a match preview next Friday. Goodbye.